So, Michael Beasley has been a walking, talking wristwatch on his ankle wearing carnival since arriving in New York this summer, one of the most fun parts of any visit with the New York Knicks. He's proclaimed that talent wise, he matches up with LeBron and Kevin Durant. He's also declared that whoever uses 11% of their brain is running a con on the general public, which he then explained only uses 10% of their brain. He's also announced he'll be playing in the NBA until age 43. And this last one is my favorite, a little young Jeezy spin, as he declared himself your favorite player's favorite player. All of Beasley's quotes have won him headlines, as well as the hearts and minds of fans who frankly have been missing themselves a little bit of J.R. Smith in their lives. Still, I am not sure anyone was prepared for what happened last night. With about five minutes to go in the third and the Knicks down by nine, Beasley started cooking and simply never stopped. There was this. Uh-huh. Or how about a little bit of this? Mm-hmm. A little nice move out here, too. There we go. By the time it was all said and done, Bees had 28 points in just over 17 minutes to give him 32 overall, his second 30-point game in his last three. Oh, and listen to the fans at the Garden. You get MVP chance in the right garden. at Madison Square <laughs> Garden. What a time to be alive. After the game, Bees was asked when he knew he had the hot hand, and his response was January 9th, 1989, which would, of course, be the day he was born. It was perfect, Michael Beasley. In fact, it was kind of perfect overall, because let's face it, the NBA universe needs the Michael Beasleys of the world as much as it needs the KDs and the LeBron Jameses. Our friend Bill Simmons called this group the Irrational Confidence All-Stars, and you know just who we are talking about. Dion Waiters, right? You got Swaggy P in that group. You got Lance Stevenson in that group. Guys who would brag to you, I can make a basket in my sleep, and they aren't using it as a euphemism? Michael Beasley may be the president of this club, and thankfully, he has found a team and a town that will love him for it. For too long, Beasley was defined by what he wasn't, right? The number two pick that didn't pay off, the prodigy who wasted his talent. It's time to celebrate what he is. Apparently, your favorite player's favorite, favorite player. player.